Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and this is All Things Kay and I want to thank you so much for joining me on another video. Well guys, it's the springtime, summer is approaching and I wanted to share my top 10 spring summer fragrances in my collection and the stuff that I am going to be rotating through this season. So if you're interested in seeing what those are, please stay tuned and keep watching. Right. The first fragrance I want to start off with is this Marc Jacob one and this is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Oh So Sweet. And if you love a sweet fragrance, you will love this. This is definitely a fruity floral and it has some notes of raspberry. Oh, I smelled that. Um, and there's another berry, but I can't remember. And bergamot. And then the dry down, the musk comes out. So I love wearing this on a summer's night because it is so sweet, so sexy. Let me get the notes for you guys. So it is a fruity floral fragrance for women. Like I said, it was launched in 2019. I'm reading, reading off of the Fragrantica website, which is where I go to read all the notes for my fragrances. And the top notes are raspberry, blackberry, and bergamot. Middle notes are daisy and jasmine. Bottom notes is the sugar, the musk, the white iris, and the woodsy note. Now the must make it the dry down so nice and warm and cozy and it's just a delicious, delicious scent. So this is definitely, you can wear this day or night, but I like this in the nighttime, like on a date night or going out to a party or something like that. This is intoxicating. And it's definitely something that I am whipping out this summer. And currently the Sephora sale is going on. So that's another reason why I wanted to get out my top spring summer fragrances. So if you guys want to shop a fragrance, anything piques your interest from this video, you guys can still shop it. So yes. So if you're watching this after the fact, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I definitely got this video out during the time of the Sephora VIB sale. Anyhow, so my first fragrance that I recommend for the spring and summer is Daisy Love by Marc Jacob. And this is the Oh So Sweet one. And look at the bottle. It's so cute. The second fragrance I want to talk about is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. And this is a beautiful floral fragrance for women. I just love it. Now this is a daytime spring summer fragrance. That's the only time I wear it and also I wear it to bed. <laughs> this is a bedtime fragrance too for me but this is a classic scent. You, I'm pretty sure if you're a floral girl you have this in your collection but it is a wonderful floral scent. It's a soft Pretty Girl scent is how I would um, describe it. And this is considered amber floral fragrance for women and it was launched back in 2005. Top notes are tea, bergamot, and osmanthus. Also middle notes are orchid, jasmine, rose, freesia, and African orange flower. Bottom notes are patchouli, musk, and vanilla. I love a floral fragrance that has a musk, especially in the dry down, because I feel like it anchors it. But this is definitely a daytime, spring, summer fragrance in my books. This is when I usually wear it. Like if you're going out for brunch, even shopping, um, lunch date, anything like that. I feel like Flower Bomb is that girl and I will definitely be wearing it this spring and summer season. The next fragrance I want to talk about is also from Victor and Rolf and this is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. If this is your daytime Flower Bomb version, then Ruby Orchid is your nighttime because this one has more of a sultry, sweet, sexy appeal to it. This one is considered a fruity, a floral fruity gourmand fragrance for women and it is so nice. Oh my God, when I wear this, my husband's like, what are you wearing? This is one of those scents that he loves smelling on me in the spring and summertime because that's when I usually wear it. I don't usually wear it in the winter time. But the top notes are peach, vine, middle notes is orchid, base notes is vanilla bean. Oh, this is so, so nice. And I'm telling you, once this travel size is done, I'm purchasing this in a big bottle for my collection. Oh, it is so good. 
definitely a spring summer scent and if you haven't gotten your nose on this one especially if you don't like the original flower bomb you might like this one because it's more i think grown and sexy compared to this one which is a, which which is more playful and fun which if you're that girl you're that girl this one is the older sister to the original flower bomb so check it out this next brand i have three fragrances for the summer from first one i want to talk about is Eden Juicy Apple from KLE. This is a sweet apple scent that I just oh, love in the spring and summer. So this is considered a fruity, a floral fruity gourmand. Oh, so, so nice. Top notes of apple, lychee, black currant, pink grapefruit. Middle notes, wild berry, raspberry bloom, jasmine, and may, may rose. Sugar, musk, vanilla, moss, and amber. What do I tell you about that musk in the base? Anytime, day or night, you can wear this in the spring or summer. It is, oh, you guys, this is definitely, once this is done, again, this is one that I, that's definitely full bottle worthy. And if you love fruity florals with a little gourmand to it, you will love this one. Definitely a spring summer scent and I think I want to wear this tomorrow because, yeah, <laughs> I really, really love Eden Juicy Apple from K. Ali. The next fragrance I want to talk about from K. Ali is Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. Y'all know this was going to be in this category. I mean, it is one of my favorite spring and summer scents and I couldn't wait <laughs> for this time of year to whip it out. Now, this is a actually a unisex scent. Um, top notes, pistachio, ice cream. We got bergamot, hazelnut, rum, and cardamom. Lily of the Valley in the middle notes. Pear, jasmine, peony, geranium, raspberry, and white peach. And in the base notes, you get that whipped cream, that marshmallow, the cotton candy, the tonka bean, the sandalwood, the, co the cocoa, the cedar. <sighs> this is definitely a day or night scent for me especially in the spring and summer like you can wear this out to lunch during the day you can wear this to a baby shower i think you can wear this to a barbecue this this is that girl uh i can't i can't wait to start wearing this i cannot wait to start wearing this and i was watching one youtuber who said she never got the hype about it but every time she went into sephora she kept checking it and she noticed that after like a couple months she noticed that she started to like it more and she noticed that the juice inside started to get darker. She really likes this fragrance after it's been out for a while, like after it sits for a while. So if you're finding that you don't like this initially, make it sit for a bit because the it just gets so sexy, so yummy, so sweet. Definitely a fragrance that I'm gonna be rocking this spring and summer for sure. Okay, and the last one from Kali, you guys knew would be in this, and this is Eden Sparkling Lychee. You guys know my obsession with lychee. And this, oh, this is a newer scent to my collection, but you guys, there's a dent in it because I, mm, I've been wearing it, but I knew it was a summer scent. This is, you just, Oh, it smells like a champagne. I don't think champagnes are in the note, but it smells like a champagne. A sweet, fruity champagne. That's what it smells like. So, top notes are lychee, blackcurrant, red apple, Italian lemon, violet. Uh, in the middle notes, we have violet, rose, jasmine, sandback. And in the base notes, we have sugar, vanilla absolute, musk again. There's that musk, amber, sandalwood, and cedar. And this is a fruity floral. It is so good. It is so good. And again, this to me is spring, summer, day or night. Day or night, spring, summer for sure. And I'm so glad. So glad I picked it up when I did. And if you guys are considering this, please. This is going to be one of the top spring summer scents this year for sure the next fragrance i want to talk about is this one here and this is the good girl blush from carolina herrera now this is a cypher floral fragrance for women 
and this is so intoxicating. This is definitely for me date night in the spring and summer. It is so good. It definitely has the good girl DNA for sure. Top notes are bergamot bitter almond, peony ylang ylang, and then vanilla and cumarin. It is so good. Oh, it is such a nice sexy scent. Definitely good for the spring and summer. If you like good girl, I'm pretty sure you'll like this. And even if you don't like good girl, you might like this because it is different from the original good girl. But it's so good. It's so good. And this again, day or night, spring, summer, favorite time to wear it. And it will definitely be in my rotation and is definitely one of my top 10 spring summer fragrances in my collection. And again from Carolina Herrera is the very good girl. Now this is also a fruity floral with the top note being one of my favorite notes which is lychee. And this, ah, oh, this is so intoxicating too. This is lychee, red currant in the top, middle rose, base, vanilla, and vetiver. Oh, it is so nice. I, I, let me tell you, summer is my favorite season. So spring and summer, are my favorite scents. I just, I do love the fall scents. They're more cozy and stuff, but I love the brightness of spring and summer fragrances. And all of these fragrances have this brightness to it. This one is no different. It just makes me happy. It makes me want to go outside and sunbathe. It makes me want to put on a sundress and sandals. This is such a beautiful, beautiful spring summer fragrance. This one, not as much as the blush do you smell the original Good Girl DNA. I feel like this smells more like Good Girl, the original, than this one does. And this one is very Good Girl. But yeah, it's a lovely, lovely scent. And definitely something I'll be rocking this season. And it's one of my top tens for spring and summer. Okay, and this next one is from Nest. And this is Lychee Rose. You guys, I am so glad that I can rock this now because I picked this up in the colder months and I knew that it was going to be a spring and summer scent. I am so glad to get to rock this now. If you love lychee and if you love rose, you are gonna love this one. This one is definitely something that you can wear day or night and it is so beautiful. This is one of those fragrances that I consider one of those pretty girl fragrances. You're going out with your husband, your boyfriend, even if you're gonna hang out with the ladies for that evening, drinking wine. Oh, this is just one of those get out the house and have fun during the spring and summer scents that I am so glad to have in my collection. So the notes of this one are rose, lychee, raspberry, and champagne rose. So good. So good, so good, such a nice scent. Definitely my top 10 for spring and summer. And I'm just excited that my favorite time of year is here, my season is here, that I can wear this one because it makes me happy. <laughs> it makes me happy, it brightens me up. It's just a beautiful spring summer scent. Now, the last spring and summer scent that I wanna talk about for this video is my Miss Dior and this is the 2021 version. Now, they keep coming out with different versions of Miss Dior, but this one came out in 2021 and this is a amber floral fragrance and top notes are Irish peony, lily of the valley, apricot, rose, peach, vanilla, musk, tonka bean, benzoin, and sandalwood. This is beautiful this is day or night day or night scent and i love it this again is another pretty girl scent it's light it's fresh it's airy there's a little bit of sweetness now there's another miss dior that came out this year and i smelt that in store and i need it it has a strong strawberry note to it and i think it will be perfect for this time of year too but this one if you have this one this is the time to wear it this is like one of my favorite spring and summer scents. I have another Miss Dior that I like to wear in the fall. That was the 2017 version. But this is the one I like to wear in the spring and summer. 
And I feel like the new Miss Dior that came out this year is also going to be one that I like to wear at this time of year. But I have this one in my collection currently. Definitely one of those lovely light spring summer scents that I highly recommend. But if you have to pick between this one and the new one, I think pick the new one because it has a strawberry note, so it's a little bit more fruity. <laughs> and yeah, this one has the apricot and the peach, but that one has a really nice strawberry note to it. And I don't have much fragrances with a strawberry. I have them with different berries, but not a strawberry note. So I'm really tempted to pick that up for this Sephora sale. Really tempted <laughs> to pick that one up because it is lovely. But this one is also a lovely one. So if you already have it in your collection, Make sure you take it out for this season because it is perfect for this season. This brings us to the end of the video. Those are my top 10 spring summer fragrances that I will be rotating through this season, which is my favorite season. I can't stop saying it. I'm glad the warm weather is coming. I am not a cold weather girl. I am a Caribbean. I am a Jamaican. The cold weather I put up with because this is the country I live in. But when it gets warm is when I am myself, okay? That's when I'm the happiest. And all these fragrances make me happy for that reason because I know this is gonna be the bright sunshine. The days are gonna be longer. It's not gonna be dark as much. It just makes me happy. So let me know if any of these fragrances are in your top 10. Let me know if any of them are your signature fragrance. And let me know if you're gonna be picking up any of them for the Sephora sale. And I think that is it. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to your girl and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified at every single upload. And until next time, bye guys.